See that face? If her name had been Helen of Troy, she would have launched a thousand ships. But she happens to be Lee Merriweather. <laughs> I, Go ahead. I pride myself for never losing my train of thought. But, uh, <laughs> I, I'm completely, it's, it's I'm gone. Lee Merriweather and... Lee Merriweather, and you play mm -hmm. the part of... Betty Jones. Betty on. Jones. And that great CBS series. Barnaby Jones. Barnaby Jones, that's right. And we're on uh, Friday nights at 10 o'clock. Why don't they marry you? On <laughs> Would you come and be on the show? Uh, and then maybe they get the idea. Well, I'd, I'd like very much to. There is a reason they don't marry you off on Barnaby Jones. I think, well, Buddy keeps work, trying to work it out so that he'll be the one. He wants to get married? Oh, yes, yes. We met his wife. He's got a wife already. No, no, no. On the show, oh, on the show he right. thinks that we've uh, that I've been a widow long enough, and that as I was married to his son in the show, that uh, now he should carry on the tradition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wants to marry you. Oh, yes, well, he's no yes. fool. Oh. Uh, absolutely. Oh. Could you be attracted to a silver-haired ex dancer? Oh, yes, I am. Yes. I'm madly in love. I love him. He is heaven. He's really a delightful man. Charming He's person. very fond of you. When he was on the show before with Faith and me, and, and I had told him what you had said when you had been on the show, that you took Shim Sham Shimmy lessons mm -hmm. from him. He says, yeah. listen, that's not all, Milt. He says, not only do I teach her to dance, <laughs> but now she has students of her own based on what I've taught her. Right. I take all the lessons that I've learned from him, and I go to Theater West, which is my actor's right. workshop that I belong to, and we have a musical comedy workshop, but part of it, on uh, Thursday nights. And uh, I've been teaching them the shim sham shim. Uh, and you hooked pretty good by now? Well, I keep trying. I'll never be as good as Buddy. He but has he's a, a style he's a good all his own. Oh, yes, he's wonderful. He's not too patient. But <laughs> all in all, he's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> when you play the part of uh, his assistant in a supporting role, a very nice, strong supporting role any actor would be proud of, what are the joys of being, you know, just below the starring role? Uh, or the, the time that you have to yourself that you're not called upon to be at the studio all the time. Buddy is there, you know, from, oh golly, 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning until 6, 7 at night. And that's a rough schedule. I mean, any way you look at it. But uh, I work maybe one or two, three days a week. And you like that? Oh my dear, yes. Plus it's the I only way to do a series. <laughs> I, 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 and you get as much money as if you'd worked five days mm -hmm. a week? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Isn't that nice? I get the impression, Lee, that you're a, a very good mother to your two girls. Oh, thank you. Uh, I hope so. I try to be. Would you like, if you had, you know, control over their futures, would you mind if, if one or the other became a Miss America, as indeed you Oh, did? I wouldn't mind that a bit. It's a wonderful opportunity for girls. You know, it's the, it's the largest uh, women's scholarship foundation in the world. And... Uh, well, it's just a wonderful opportunity to get to travel, to meet people, and to but see places. But isn't it heaven. tough to be the daughter of one of the most celebrated beauties of America, really? Oh, who? And myself? <laughs> I didn't know that I was. That's very nice of you to say. I know you meant it as a compliment. I don't see myself that way, so I don't think in terms uh, Well, you're like used that. to it. It's, it's been a number of years. You've grown used to living with uh, it. But mm. It's tough on a girl, perhaps. Well, I don't know. Uh, when you say my daughter lives... I, I look so, you know, kind of yicky at home that I don't think they think of me in terms of being a beauty at all. So, you know, they're always saying, Mommy, why don't you put on some lipstick or, you know, why don't what you, do you put your hair What do you wear so. around the house? Um, dressing gown, uh, jeans, uh, shorts, uh, depends. Depends really. What home. kind? Do you live in a home or an apartment? Mm -hmm. Home. Mm -hmm. In you, Granada Hills. It's yeah. a suburb of you know, Los Angeles. Do you have... Uh, we do, of course. Do you have good memories of when you were here a year or so ago oh, for the Derby? Oh, yes. Oh, that was so exciting. There. It really was. It was quite They kept thrill. you very busy, I remember. Oh, well, but it was wonderful, you know, getting to see everything. You were on the parade mm -hmm. and uh, at the press box. At oh, the yes, and the, and the Delta Queen and the, and the, the race. And the Delta Louisville, that's Yes. Right. And you saw a great horse, of course. Oh, yes. Was, yes. That, the, was that secretary? Mm -hmm. The, all the, I have... I have the winning ticket. I never cashed it in. Really? And you are rich. I, oh, no. But it's $1. fifty by the time. You know, I, I didn't bet much on it. And I have all of the things that I'm going to make a decoupage tray. And I have all of the things that I saved from that. They gave me a very nice picture of the horse and uh, 
all the newspaper clippings and things. And just That's very nice. There was a historic race really. Oh, there. yes, the hundredth running. Ooh. You must come back again sometime. I would love it. You have a, you know, I've always uh, admired you because you have so many different sides to you. Because I remember back when you were doing the Garraway show, the Today oh, Show. Oh, my. And how, how well you did. In other words, you were doing ad-lib shows where you had to use your, your brain and your mind. You're now doing the game shows. Mm -hmm. Do you like the game shows? Oh, I love them. I really do. What's the really secret to being a good game show guest? Oh, dear. My wife has a theory that no matter how silly the game is, that you should throw yourself into it with total abandon. Yes, that and caring for the contestants that you're working for. That uh, I think that's half the battle. Because I know I've watched shows, and I, I sit home and I'll watch, and I say, gee whiz, they don't look as though they care for the person that they're playing with or for, right. you know? And then, um, and then on, on the other hand, you see a lot that do, and that's when it's very exciting and fun. I believe the, the producer of that show, what's the name of it, has said that's one reason he likes you as a contestant, because you do care for the ordinary citizen who comes in. Gee, who said that, though? <laughs> nice. I have it here in my notes mm -hmm. somewhere. Yes, yes, it's, it's in there. And I'm, I'm going to show it to you somewhere I would here. love that. That's Masquerade good. party. Because oh. one producer told her you have so much fun and really care about the contestants. Oh, that's nice. Get a raise for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to do a, a big two-hour series? The, uh, as I understand, we're going to be doing a two-part Start on Cannon and finish on Barnaby. Can't miss on that. That would be fun. You like Fat Man? Oh, fat detectives? Yeah, he is heaven. Yes. He's, I, I really have been so lucky with the gentleman that I've had the good fortune to work with, and you're included in that group. She does. That's very nice. Um, <laughs> you got a shot of that. Well, <laughs> what else can we say? We have <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank, mm, thank you. Lee Merriweather. You doing anything later? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>